there's an underlying layer of secrecy and withheld emotions. It's as though someone close to you is concealing their true feelings, keeping admiration and affection veiled beneath the surface. Beneath the surface, hidden like buried treasure, lies a secret layer of emotions. It's like a thick fog swirling around someone dear to you, hiding their true feelings. They're holding back, like a dam holding back a river, keeping their admiration and affection locked away. Imagine a mysterious veil shrouding their heart, concealing the warmth and fondness they feel for you. It's as if they're wearing a mask, pretending everything is fine while inside, emotions churn like a stormy sea. They're guarding their feelings as if they're precious jewels, afraid to reveal them to the world. It's like a puzzle with missing pieces, leaving you wondering what lies beneath the surface. But deep down, beneath the layers of secrecy, their emotions simmer like a pot ready to boil over. It's a mystery waiting to be unraveled, a story longing to be told. This person sees you as a shining light, a ray of sunshine in their life. They look up to you seeing you as a source of positivity and strength, like a sturdy lighthouse guiding ships safely to shore. In their eyes, you're like a superhero, brimming with confidence and toughness, ready to tackle any challenge that comes your way. They admire your balanced personality, recognizing all the great things you've accomplished and the strong impression you make on everyone around you. You're like a colorful painting, full of vibrant hues and bold strokes, standing out in a crowd with your remarkable presence. They can't help but be drawn to your magnetic energy and infectious enthusiasm for life. Even though they think the world of you, they find it hard to speak up about how they feel. They're scared of being too open, afraid of getting hurt like they have in the past. It's like they're holding back their feelings, like a treasure locked away in a hidden chest. Their fear of being vulnerable holds them back, like chains keeping them from sharing their true emotions. Past experiences of being rejected or hurt have left scars on their heart, making it hard for them to open up. It's like they're trapped in a cage of their own making, unable to break free and express themselves fully. Hidden behind their protective shell, there's a flood of feelings and wishes waiting to burst out. They want to tell you how much they admire and like you but they're afraid of being turned away or not understood. It's like there's a volcano inside them, bubbling with emotions they're scared to let out. They long to express their admiration and attraction, but the fear of rejection acts like a heavy anchor, keeping their feelings bottled up inside. In the quiet moments of their day, their mind wanders to images of closeness and affection. They picture themselves wrapped in your arms, feeling the comforting embrace and the gentle touch of your hand. These daydreams offer them solace, a brief escape into a world where they can feel the warmth of your presence. They long for the opportunity to share these intimate moments with you, to experience the bond they envision in their thoughts. Each mental picture is a glimpse into their desires, a silent plea for the chance to express their feelings openly. So. Have you ever sensed that a close companion is harboring a secret, just waiting for the right moment to come clean? The universe has a funny way of dropping hints, and maybe you've already been sensing something fishy. Those little moments of intuition, those whispers in your mind saying, something's not right. It's like the universe is tapping you on the shoulder, nudging you to pay attention. You're not alone in this feeling. Others might have noticed too, the way your friend or family member acts a bit off, or the way they avoid certain topics like they're tiptoeing around a hidden truth. The universe knows, and maybe deep down, you do too. Put yourself in the shoes of this person first. Imagine carrying a heavy burden deep within, something that weighs down your spirit and clouds your thoughts. It's like a shadow that follows you everywhere, whispering doubts and insecurities into your ear. These are the kind of secrets that aren't easily shared, the ones that make you feel vulnerable and exposed. Maybe it's the fear of being judged or misunderstood, or perhaps it's the shame of admitting your deepest fears and struggles. Whatever the reason, these personal insecurities can become like chains, holding you back from fully embracing who you are and reaching your true potential. And yet, despite the pain and turmoil they cause, you find yourself unable to let them go trapped in a cycle of self-doubt and fear.
Now, it is high time they must reveal this information to you. The urgency to reveal these personal insecurities lies in the burden they place on the heart and mind. Imagine carrying a heavy load day in and day out, unable to share the weight with those closest to you. It's like a ticking time bomb, threatening to explode with every passing moment. The longer these insecurities remain hidden, the deeper they burrow into the soul, festering and growing stronger. They can poison relationships, breeding mistrust and misunderstanding. By keeping these feelings locked away, one risks further isolation and emotional turmoil. It's crucial to address these insecurities sooner rather than later to prevent them from causing irreparable damage. Only by opening up and sharing these struggles can one begin the journey towards healing and self-acceptance, fostering deeper connections and a greater sense of peace within. The Almighty wants you to know that their wait is nearly over. My dear child, listen closely to the whispers of your soul, for within you lies a purpose as bright as the stars in the night sky. You are the reflection of the Divine, a beacon of light in a world sometimes filled with shadows. Your heart, so pure and full of love, holds the power to change lives and illuminate paths. Now is the time to lend your hand to those in need, to unburden the souls of others from the weight of their fears and doubts. Together, we can cast aside the darkness and embrace the light within, guiding each other towards a brighter tomorrow. You are not alone, my child, for I am with you always, guiding you along this sacred journey of life. Trust in yourself, trust in your purpose, and let your light shine for all to see. As you eagerly await this divine moment of this person revealing this information to you, Envision it like a beautifully crafted puzzle, with each piece falling into place with divine precision. The love that's destined to blossom between you isn't just chance, it's like a rare and precious gem, sparkling with the light of the divine. Embrace this love as a treasured gift, as pure as a crystal clear stream flowing through a lush forest. And when you start to feel impatient, like the flutter of a bird's wings longing to take flight, Remember that the Divine works in mysterious ways, weaving the threads of destiny in its own time. Each passing day is like a brush stroke on a canvas, painting the picture of your journey towards the sacred union. So, trust in the process, dear one, for the Divine is guiding you towards a love that's beyond your wildest dreams. Coming back to the message. When you, dear souls, receive such vulnerable revelations from those you hold dear, it stirs a myriad of emotions within you. At first, you may feel a profound sense of honor, a recognition that your loved one trusts you implicitly with their innermost struggles. This trust, bestowed upon you like a precious gift, fills your heart with warmth and gratitude. Yet, alongside this honor, you may also experience surprise or even shock, finding yourself taken aback by the depth of your loved one's turmoil. It's as if the universe has unveiled a hidden truth before your very eyes, leaving you momentarily speechless. In these moments, your heart swells with compassion and concern, eager to offer solace and support to your beloved companion. However, you may also find yourself grappling with uncertainty, unsure of the best way to navigate this newfound revelation. It's like standing at a crossroads, with countless paths stretching out before you each one filled with its own challenges and uncertainties. Yet, despite the complexities that accompany such revelations, there lies a beautiful opportunity for growth and connection. As you and your loved one traverse this emotional landscape together, your bond deepens, strengthened by a newfound sense of trust and understanding. Together, you embark on a journey of healing and self-discovery navigating the twists and turns of your shared path with courage and compassion. And in the end, you emerge stronger and more resilient, united in your unwavering commitment to one another. In the midst of uncertainty and vulnerability, if you find yourself feeling lost or overwhelmed, remember this, you are never alone. The angels, messengers of the divine, surround you with their love and guidance weaving a tapestry of support that envelopes you like a warm embrace. Listen closely, and you'll hear their whispers of encouragement and the gentle rustle of leaves and the sweet melodies of bird songs. These signs are not mere coincidence. 
They are divine messages meant to remind you of the love and support that surrounds you always. In moments of doubt or despair, look to the signs that surround you, for they are a testament to the boundless love that the Creator showers upon you. God's love for you is like a gentle breeze that caresses your soul, offering comfort and reassurance in even the darkest of times. And like a steady flame that illuminates the night, the divine light within you shines brightly, guiding your way through life's twists and turns. So, if you ever feel lost or uncertain, remember this. You are a divine creation imbued with the light and love of the Creator. Your existence is a testament to the boundless love that surrounds you always, guiding you on your journey with unwavering grace and compassion. Trust in the divine plan that unfolds before you, and know that you are never alone on the sacred path of life. As you navigate the twists and turns of life's journey, keep an eye out for the synchronicities that serve as gentle reminders of the divine timing. One such sign to watch for is the appearance of a black butterfly. When the time is ripe for the revelation of this deeply personal information, the universe may send this majestic creature fluttering into your path as a symbol of divine timing. As you witness the graceful dance of the black butterfly, let it serve as a powerful reminder that you are exactly where you need to be in this moment. Trust in the timing of the universe, for it knows the perfect moment to reveal what needs to be known. The appearance of the black butterfly is a sign that the time has come for this revelation and that the divine is guiding you every step of the way. So, if you should happen upon a black butterfly in the midst of your day, take it as a sign from the universe that the time is right for the unveiling of this sacred information. Embrace the moment with an open heart and a spirit of curiosity, knowing that the divine is watching over you and guiding you toward greater understanding and enlightenment. When the moment arrives for the revelation of this deeply personal information, you may find yourself experiencing a whirlwind of emotions. At first, there might be a sense of anticipation, as though something significant is about to unfold. As the information is shared with you, you may feel a mixture of surprise, empathy, and compassion for the person confiding in you. It's natural to feel honored that your loved one trusts you enough to share their innermost struggles with you. You may feel a deep sense of connection and solidarity as you listen with an open heart and a willingness to offer support. However, along with these positive emotions, you might also experience a tinge of sadness or concern for the challenges your loved one has been facing. In moments of reflection after the revelation, you may find yourself contemplating the nature of personal insecurities and the importance of being there for those we care about. Despite any initial feelings of uncertainty or unease, know that your presence and support can make a world of difference to someone who is struggling. Embrace the opportunity to deepen your bond with your loved one and offer them the compassion and understanding they need to navigate their journey with strength and resilience. As we look ahead to the coming Tuesday, anticipation hangs in the air like a delicate veil of mystery. There's a sense of something extraordinary about to unfold, a moment of significance waiting just around the corner. Perhaps it's the way the sunlight filters through the leaves, casting dappled shadows on the ground, or the way the breeze whispers secrets through the trees. This Tuesday holds a special energy, a convergence of cosmic forces aligning in perfect harmony. It's a day brimming with potential, a time when the universe itself seems to pause, holding its breath in anticipation of what's to come. In the midst of this enchanting atmosphere, it's as though the veil between the seen and the unseen grows thin, allowing glimpses of the divine to shimmer through. As you go about your day on Tuesday, keep your senses attuned to the subtle whispers of the universe. Pay attention to the signs and synchronicities that surround you, for they may hold clues to the revelation that awaits. And if, perchance, a black butterfly flutters into view, know that it carries with it a message of profound significance. This Tuesday is no ordinary day. It's a day of divine revelation, a time when secrets long held in the shadows may finally come to light. So, stay open, stay aware, and be prepared for the magic that awaits. Guided by the Almighty's infinite wisdom, you have been shaped into a vessel capable of giving and receiving love in its purest form. In the intricate tapestry of existence, 
Every soul you encounter is a divine appointment. Each connection, whether fleeting or enduring, serves a purpose in the unfolding of your story. As the Master Weaver, the Almighty intricately intertwines the threads of your life with those of others, creating a rich tableau of interconnected destinies. As the moment of meeting this special soul draws near, envision the boundless love that will flow between you. It is a love that transcends the limitations of the physical realm, echoing through eternity. The angels, in their celestial chorus, sing songs of celebration for the divine union that is about to take place. Your heart too can join in this melody, for you are a vital note in the symphony of creation. In the moments leading up to this encounter, the Almighty encourages you to remain open and receptive, trusting in divine timing as the Creator's plan unfolds with perfect precision. Envision the anticipation you feel mirrored in the celestial realms. Angels joyfully prepare for the cosmic alignment that will bring two souls together. When the appointed moment arrives and you finally lay eyes on the one destined for you, know that it is a sacred meeting ordained by the heavens. The divine spark within each of you will recognize its counterpart, and the love that blossoms will reflect the eternal love binding all of creation. Now the big revelation, universe is hinting that this person has a feeling of not good enough. Feeling like you're not good enough is a complex and deeply personal experience that can affect various aspects of your life. It often stems from a combination of internal and external factors, each contributing to a sense of inadequacy. Internally, it might begin with negative self-talk and inner criticism. You might have developed a habit of comparing yourself unfavorably to others, focusing only on your perceived shortcomings and flaws while overlooking your strengths and accomplishments. This self-doubt can be reinforced by past experiences of failure or rejection, which leave a lasting impression and fuel feelings of unworthiness. Externally, societal standards and expectations play a significant role in shaping our perceptions of self-worth. Messages from media, peers, and even family members can create unrealistic ideals of beauty, success, and achievement, leading to feelings of inadequacy when we don't measure up. Additionally, social comparison in the age of social media can exacerbate these feelings, as we constantly see curated versions of others' lives that seem perfect in comparison to our own. These feelings of inadequacy can manifest in various ways, affecting different areas of life. In relationships, you might struggle with trust and intimacy, fearing rejection or abandonment if your flaws are revealed. In academic or professional settings, you might feel like an imposter, constantly worried that others will discover you're not as capable as you appear. This can lead to perfectionism where you strive for unattainable standards in an effort to prove your worth, but ultimately feel like you're falling short. Overcoming feelings of inadequacy requires self-awareness, self-compassion, and a willingness to challenge negative beliefs. It involves recognizing that everyone has insecurities and imperfections, and that your worth isn't determined by external achievements or comparisons to others. Building self-esteem involves focusing on your strengths and accomplishments, setting realistic goals, and practicing self-care and self-compassion. Seeking support from trusted friends, family members, or professionals can also be helpful in challenging negative thought patterns and developing a more positive self-image. Remember, you are worthy of love and acceptance just as you are, and it's okay to ask for help when you need it. When it comes to personal insecurities, it's essential to recognize that there may be layers to the issue beyond what meets the eye. While feeling like you're not good enough can be a significant aspect of insecurity, there might also be underlying fears, traumas, or past experiences that contribute to these feelings. However, what's most crucial is not necessarily understanding the root cause of someone's insecurity, but rather how you react to it. Your response can have a profound impact on their well-being and the dynamics of your relationship. Instead of trying to fix or solve their insecurity, focus on offering empathy, validation, and support. Let them know that you're there to listen without judgment and that their feelings are valid. 
validate their experiences and emotions, acknowledging the challenges they face without dismissing or minimizing them. Encourage open communication and create a safe space for them to express themselves freely. Avoid offering unsolicited advice or trying to fix their problems, as this can come across as invalidating or dismissive. Instead, practice active listening and offer words of affirmation and encouragement. Additionally, consider how you can support them in building their self-esteem and confidence. Offer words of affirmation and praise for their strengths and accomplishments. Encourage them to engage in activities that bring them joy and fulfillment and be a source of encouragement as they work towards their goals. Above all, let them know that they are loved, valued, and accepted just as they are. Your unwavering support and acceptance can make a world of difference in helping them navigate their insecurities and build a stronger sense of self-worth and resilience. You must be thinking why you are the chosen one for this pivotal role of this person's life journey. The Father says today timidity and fear are going in boldness, audacity, and faith unfeigned are calling you up into a place of perfect love because love never fails, thus you will not fail. You see, perfect love casts out all fear, my beloved. Through the work of the cross, I have brought perfect love into every aspect of your life. It is through this perfect love that I am perfecting what you have committed to me. Relinquish any expectations in your heart that go against my promises. Trust me, for I am leading you towards the fulfillment of your highest heart's desires and dreams. I haven't said no, and I have not excluded you, nor have I denied you. Make it your now determination to free yourself from the chains of unfounded fear and deny its hold on your life. The past accomplishments I have brought forth in your life are merely the beginning of a season of great fruitfulness. Are you ready to experience a catch so abundant that the nets cannot contain? Are you ready for your words and actions to carry the same power as if I spoke and acted? You are standing on the threshold of a new entitlement, a new experience of the blessings that flow from the cross. These entitlements are manifesting themselves in your healing, your spiritual well-being, your relationships, and even in your finances. Embrace this season, step up boldly, and indulge in the richness of life. I have sent forth my blessings, my worthy portion, and they are meant for you to receive. Have faith, for by spending your faith, you are investing in the currency of the kingdom, a currency that surpasses anything earthly means can offer. Remember, I am with you always, and I will never leave you nor forsake you. This is a time of blessings, my child. Embrace it fully, for it belongs to you. Trust in me, for I am faithful to bring all that I have promised to pass in your life. The Father says today, from the place of renewed intimacy and experience of my glory, is coming to your life a beautiful transformation, like a spinning dance of growth and discovery. My word is coming to a place of amplification in your spirit, even as Adam and Eve experience my following, when they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. I am walking in the garden of your inner man, that you might find me, and seek me, and step into a new profound level of relationship that is yours to know and enjoy by my determinate will. There is a sound, a resonance of my sound and my voice, that will begin to permeate your life. In your study of the scriptures, you will come across the passage where they heard my voice walking in the cool of the day. Even so, I am walking by my word and my voice in the inner man of your spirit that I've created as my dwelling place. So dig deeper so you can understand this as the sound of my wind and my word whirling on the breezes of your inner man. I have instilled within you a spirit that resonates, much like a tuning fork. At this pivotal point in your life, I choose to step closer to you and pluck the strings of your inner man so that my sound my voice and my song will come forth, be known, and set many free with the freedom wherewith this day I make you free. As a result, you will hear my sound and, in turn, emit my sound, and the effects of miracles and answered prayer will be tangible. Just as certain sounds can shatter glass or evoke physical reactions, you will shed burdens that have clung to you, causing remarkable transformations in your presence. 
Prepare yourself, my beloved child, for when you enter a room, people will take notice. There may even be instances where someone, seemingly put together, but secretly struggling with a demonic stronghold, will undergo a physical reaction that draws attention from everyone around. Recognize this as an opportunity, for demons are like unruly children seeking attention. With a simple command from you, shut up and come out. You will demonstrate my divine power. My hand is ready to manifest in your life in a unique and powerful way. Do not be surprised if these extraordinary encounters occur outside of traditional church settings. They may arise as you go about your everyday activities, simply being yourself. An angel of change will accompany you, initiating transformations in those around you. And you will carry the radiance of my glory, where in the past was nothing but disappointment and failure. The Father says today, I am doing a complete work in your past, present and future. My spirit is actively working in your past, bringing liberty and healing to every broken area of your life, from the fractures and abuses of the past. You felt insecure and unsafe, even in your skin, and I've seen that, says God. I understand the need for emotional security, so be assured that I am concerned and moving with the gentle hand of a shepherd, resolving the conflicts stilling the nightmares and threats of the enemy that have touched every aspect of your being, your heart, mind, and trust. You are safe, says God in my hands. You are safe and secure. When you feel panic and anxiety taking over, say this to yourself, I am safe. I am secure in my Father's capable hands. The enemy, the circumstance, and the situation may churn and boil around you to the point all seems lost, but beloved, be assured that nothing and no one can pluck you out of my loving care. Your life is hidden in me, protected and shielded from the challenges and uncertainties of the world. So much so, that the enemy is blinded like those who groped to find the door when the angels visited Lot in Sodom. They are seeking to gain access, but I've blinded their ambitions and turned them instead against each other so that you won't have to fight them, but witness their removal from your life by their misguided efforts. The Father says, time for you to soar, time for you to fly. Like a bird in flight, encapsulated in a bubble of my presence, love, peace, and faithfulness. You are ascending in worship that you might descend in warfare, witnessing the enemy's total defeat in every area of your life. People, forgive them. Forgive, release, bless, move on. Even though people may disappoint you at times, you can rest assured that you will not be shaken because your trust is firmly placed in that Christ anointing, my indwelling presence on the inside of you. Be confident and be assured, says the Father. You will rest deeply and live confidently, knowing that my embrace and protection encompass every part of your life. This is your season to experience the freedom that comes from finding your identity in me. As you continue your journey, Remember the truth of my promises. Doubt your doubts and embrace my sure word that has gone out over you but the prophets. Embrace healing, restoration and security, knowing you are anchored in my unwavering love. Your past does not define you. It becomes a testimony of the redemptive initiative of grace and power that is flowing down to you from my throne and filling you with those things necessary to reshape your entire existence. Walk confidently and joyfully this day and every day going forward, knowing that your life is hidden in me and that I will never fail you. The Father says today, let your mouth pray. Put more energy into prayer than you do all the vain, unenlightened tactics of the flesh that only make matters worse in your life. I say again, let your mouth pray. E embrace the power of prayer. Every word you utter in prayer is valuable and holds significance in the eyes of the divine. Allow your mouth to be a vessel of prayer, for it is through prayer that you align your desires with my will and designs. When you pray, your words ascend as fragrant incense before the throne of the Almighty, establishing an atmosphere of connection. Never underestimate the profound effect your prayers can have. The enemy may attempt to downplay prayer as an act of desperation, but I assure you, it is a transformative catalyst in your life. Through prayer, you can transcend the ordinary 
and step into the realm of the miraculous. Let your mouth utter prayers with passion and conviction and watch as mountains crumble and barriers tremble before you. No challenge or obstacle in your life is too insurmountable for the fervent prayers offered at the altar of your faith. Prayer has the power to turn my promises into tangible results and over the top outcomes in your life. The angels assigned to you from the moment of your birth eagerly listen for your prayers, ready to bring them before my throne with anticipation. Don't let a lack of prayerfulness leave your assigned angel standing empty-handed before God. Know that I am always ready and willing to hear your prayers. I am inclined and disposed to answer you. My default response to your pleas is a resounding yes, always yes, and amen. There is no obstacle too great that leaves me unwilling to overcome it in order to meet your needs. The cross of Calvary stands as a testament to the lengths I am willing to go to help you in your moments of greatest desperation. Let your words of connection and surrender to my spirit bring about the transformation, miracles and breakthroughs you seek. Your breath in prayer is never wasted. It is a divine invitation for me to show up and work wonders in your life. Trust in my faithfulness and unwavering love as you engage fervently in sacred act of prayer. The Father says today, step into the perfection wherewith I am perfect. And as I am, so are you in the earth. Who told you that no one is perfect? Was that a thought from me? Was it a God-breathed inspiration? No, it was not. When I said in my word, be perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect, I released all the grace and power you need to see it done in your life. It is not up to you in your own efforts or ability. I am the Father inside you, doing the work to bring you forth in my image, with my character and my perfection intact as your personal testimony. When the enemy of your soul tears you down and demeans your prospects, hold my word up as the shield for your faith. When life, circumstance or other people trash your dreams and visions, make up your mind then and there that you will believe the good report. All things are possible. I am the God living inside you, for whom nothing is impossible. That is who I am, therefore in me, that is who you are. You are the earthly reflection of my heavenly image. You are the image bearer of the invisibility of my glory. Yield to that glory. Embrace that glory. Wrap your faith around that glory and see my perfection become your manifest portion in life. So walk in my perfection and express my perfection even in the midst of your blatant and obvious imperfections. Know who you are. Receive my love. Abide in me daily. Walk in faith and embrace the risks by which mountains are moved and destiny realized. Obey me in all things even when you don't understand, or for that matter, agree. Be transparent and honest, for as it has been said, I am more interested in relationship than I am in respect. When you walk in my perfection, you will experience a life of joy, peace, and fulfillment. You will be a blessing to others and make a difference in the world. So today, my beloved child, choose to walk in my perfection. It is your destiny. The Father says today, my spirit is moving in your situation to shed light on the deceptions that the enemy has sought to weave into your life. I am bringing forth in glaring illumination the secrets that have been hidden in darkness and ensuring that they are proclaimed loudly, resonating from the very depths of your being. The enemy's strategy is to entangle you in disappointment and overwhelm you with frustration. However, I implore you to redirect your focus away from people and circumstances, fixing your gaze firmly upon me, your loving Father. It is inevitable that people will let you down 
and situations may bring forth frustration. But I urge you not to place your trust solely in human strength. Instead, trust in the word that I have planted deep within your heart. My love for you is unwavering. I will never forsake you or disregard your pleas for help. My beloved child, do you truly trust me? If you do, then allow me to step in and take control of every aspect of your life. I will guide you from where you currently are to a place of victory and abundant blessings. The promises I have made in your life are the very catalyst for the breakthrough you yearn for. In this journey, it is crucial that you do not invest your energy or initiative into anything or anyone that contradicts the promises I have spoken over your life. The enemy seeks to isolate you, to cut you off from the vital resources that will lead you on the path to breakthrough. Therefore, I encourage you, dear one, to test the spirits around you. True discernment is not fueled by suspicion or doubt, masked as religious behavior. Rather, it is rooted in love, which casts out all fear. It is a perfect love that is unconditional and brings rest to your weary soul. Enter into the rest that I have lovingly prepared for you. As part of this process, it is important to forgive those whom you hold anger against. Release those you have unjustly judged in your thoughts. Remember, dear one, that all humanity is prone to evil and wickedness can manifest in every action. However, I offer you cleansing and redemption at the foot of the cross. There, I will set you free and bring you to a place of renewed and vibrant purification. Let go of the need to be right and release the demand for justice that does not align with the principles of my kingdom. Surrender these burdens to me, and I will bear them for you. I am here for you, ready to expose the deceptions of the enemy, and lead you into a life of victory and blessings. Trust in me, lean on me, and allow me to guide you through every step of your journey. Embrace the rest and freedom that come from forgiving others and surrendering your burdens at the cross. Together, we will overcome the enemy's schemes and walk in the fullness of the life I have prepared for you. The Father says today, I know your heart, and I understand the anxiety and fear you are feeling about the uncertainty of the future. Know that because you live in a fallen environment, the spirit of Leviathan swims through the waters of prideful fallen humanity all around you, and you will face challenges and obstacles that may seem insurmountable. However, I want to assure you that your tomorrows are in good hands. As the sovereign God of the universe, I fully control everything, including your life. Nothing taking place in your life is beyond my reach or my power to address, shift and bring deliverance. Trust me, cry out to me, let your mouth pray. Even though you may not be able to see it now, I have a good plan for your future. I am a God of abundance and life and want to give you the best. Encourage your heart, lift your head up, set your expectations high. Dream big and believe that I can do anything. When your hopes are dashed and distractions surround you, turn to my word. It serves as a template for your life, providing guidance and wisdom. Meditate on my word and let it shape your expectations for the future. Remember, this is a time for action, not just waiting. I've already equipped you with everything you need to succeed. Now, it is up to you to take action and put my word into practice. Through your faith and belief in me, you will witness amazing results. I am no respecter of persons. What I have done for others, I can certainly do for you. There is no need to hesitate in believing that I can do great things in your life. Trust in my power and my love for you, and you will see remarkable transformations. So, as you face uncertainty or obstacles, remember that I am in control. Trust in my plan. Set your expectations high and take action, guided by my word. Your future is bright, and with my guidance, you will overcome any challenges that come your way. The Father says today, I am with you. I am in you. I am all around you, surrounding you with my favor, love, protection, and guidance in times of difficulty. I know that you are facing many challenges. Your life, family situation, and other aspects of life are full of turmoil and uncertainty. Never forget or take your mind off the fact that I am with you. I am your God and will never leave or forsake you. 
In the midst of all the chaos and confusion, draw on my limitless strength and refuse to be entangled in the circumstance by leaning on your own understanding and resources. Do not give in to the temptation to be afraid or discouraged. Remember that I have already overcome the world. And because I live in you, you have also overcome the world. The enemy's primary goal is to distract you. He knows that if he can keep you distracted, he can keep you from walking in my will. But I want to assure you that I am here to guide you and protect you. When you feel lost or confused, come to me in prayer. I will show you the way. And when you feel weak and discouraged, I will give you strength. Surrender your weariness to me. Never grow frustrated or impatient with well-doing. Even when things are difficult, don't give up on walking in my simplicity. Those around you may try to tell you that you need to be complex and sophisticated in order to be spiritual. I want to assure you that the opposite is true. Simplicity is your portion. Simplicity is your deliverance. I'm a simple savior with all the answers you need to find yourself in the yoke, easy and the burden light I have set before you. Come as a little child. Let me hold you in my arms. Let me fill you with my love and my peace. And know that I am always with you, no matter what you are facing. The Father says today, make my presence your priority. As you make a determinate and conscious choice to seek the kingdom above every other consideration, I will generously bless your life with the desires of your heart. I have a magnificent plan for you, filled with joy and blessings that might seem like fiction. But it's not it, is the reality of living and breathing and having your life bounded by and surrounded by my glory, power and kingdom strength. I intend to bring you into a state of abundant fulfillment where your deepest desires and dreams become a reality daily. This is the essence of our relationship, my child. I am a loving and caring God who desires to shower you with goodness. Brush aside any religious misconceptions or doubts that may have hindered your belief in my promises. I am a good God and my goodness knows no bounds when it comes to you. Let go of your feeble plans and strategies as they are futile attempts to comprehend how I will bring about the remarkable things I have in store for you. Instead, I urge you to find rest in me. Simply surrender to my care and protection. Let today be characterized by rejoicing and praise, for I assure you, I've got this. No longer should you settle for a mediocre existence. Our Divine Father is here to attract your attention towards a divine sign which is manifesting for you in these moments. Your moment has finally arrived. Picture this, my chambers stand illuminated, ready to receive the transformative power that is about to unfold in your life. It's as if the heavens themselves are opening up, pouring down blessings so abundant, they'll reshape every aspect of your existence. Yes, you heard me right. Those barriers? They're nothing but frail walls crumbling at the mere thought of your newfound strength. And those dreams you once thought unreachable? Well, get ready to grab them with both hands because, with me by your side, absolutely nothing is out of reach. I'm not just sitting idly by, you know. Oh no, I'm actively working behind the scenes, meticulously crafting a new path for you, one that leads straight to abundance and fulfillment. Can you feel it? That electric buzz in the air, signaling the dawn of a new era in your life. It's the sweet release of chains that have held you captive for far too long. The gentle lifting of burdens that have weighed heavy on your heart. And let's not forget, my dear one, that you are never alone in this journey. You are cherished beyond measure, held in the warm embrace of a love that knows no bounds. Every step you've taken, every tear you've shed, I've been there, right by your side, cheering you on silently. Your pain hasn't gone unnoticed, I assure you. But here's the thing, it's time for that pain to make way for something far greater. So, open up your heart wide and let that love pour in. Embrace the promises I've made to you, for they are as sure as the rising sun. And as for that eternal pain you've been carrying, consider it a thing of the past, my dear, for with my love, 
There is only healing, only joy, only the promise of a brighter tomorrow. I give you my word, you will rise, triumphantly emerging from the depths of adversity, to soar victoriously above the ashes of your challenges. Hold on to your courage, fuel your faith, and steel yourself with unyielding strength. Keep your belief unwavering, your trust unshaken. Keep praying, keep bending your knees in humble supplication, for your moment is fast approaching. The drought of despair has ended. The era of scarcity has drawn to a decisive close. From this very moment forward, you stride along a path illuminated with abundance and prosperity, a path uniquely crafted by my hand, tailor-made for you and yours alone. In the hours ahead, those seemingly insurmountable problems that once tormented you shall be effortlessly resolved. I shall wield my divine power to obliterate every obstacle, transforming them into stepping stones of opportunity. Those who dare to murmur against you will be silenced, their voices drowned out by the resounding echoes of my magnificent work within you. Fear not, for my celestial guardians stand watch over every step you take, shielding you from harm's reach. Those who clot your downfall shall find themselves powerless against the might of my heavenly protection. Turn a deaf ear to their venomous words, for my radiant light shall pierce through the darkest shadows, illuminating your path with unwavering clarity. Yes, I know the weight of your weight has been burdensome, but mark my words, your time is now, and the magnitude of the miracle that awaits you is beyond measure. Prepare yourself for the extraordinary transformation that lies ahead. When you witness the boundless blessings I have bestowed upon you, tears of joy shall flow freely from your eyes, and you shall remember this day as a testament to my unwavering presence in your life. Feel my comforting embrace enveloping you, my beloved one. I am by your side, shielding you from all harm like a pristine mantle of white. Doubts, criticisms, and malicious comments will fade into oblivion as I restore your very being. I am uprooting the curses that have plagued you, replacing them with a crown of victory upon your brow. This is your moment, and I sense the restlessness in your soul, the turmoil in your heart. But fear not, for I grant you my peace today peace that surpasses all understanding, saturating every fiber of your being with tranquility. An opportunity beckons at this very moment, an unexpected door swinging open before you. Seize it with gusto, for I have laid this path before you. Do not falter now, my dear one. You have come too far to be defeated. Regain your strength, summon your courage, and march forward with unwavering determination. In this trial, you shall emerge victorious. Remember, you are never alone. I am with you, guiding you, enriching your life with boundless fulfillment, joy and abundance. Know this, believe it. My love for you knows no bounds, and I am with you now and forevermore. My cherished child, hear me now as I pour forth my love and blessings upon you like a mighty river flowing endlessly from the depths of my heart. Feel the warmth of my embrace enveloping you, soothing your weary soul, and lifting the burdens that weigh heavy upon your shoulders. You are not alone, for I am here, ever-present and steadfast in my devotion to you. In this tumultuous journey called life, I am your unwavering beacon of hope, guiding you through the darkness and illuminating the path before you with the radiant light of my love. Trust in me, dear one for I am the rock upon which you may safely anchor your faith and find solace in times of uncertainty. As you navigate the twists and turns of fate, know that my love for you knows no bounds. It is a boundless ocean, vast and deep, teeming with endless possibilities and untold treasures waiting to be discovered. Allow yourself to be swept away by the currents of my grace, for in my arms you will find refuge from the storms that rage around you. Do not let fear or doubt cloud your vision, for I am the steady hand that guides you through the tempest. With unwavering faith and courage, you shall overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious on the other side. Trust in the power of my love to see you through, for it is a force beyond measure, capable of moving mountains and parting seas. So, my beloved child, stand tall and walk with confidence.
knowing that I am with you every step of the way. Let my love be your guiding light, illuminating the path to a future filled with boundless joy, abundant blessings and unending prosperity. For in my love, you will find the strength to rise above adversity and soar to new heights of greatness. My beloved child, listen closely to the words that flow from the depths of my heart to yours. I want you to grasp the magnitude of my love for you, to feel its power coursing through every fiber of your being, like a mighty river of endless grace and compassion. From the moment of your inception, you were etched into the very fabric of my divine plan, crafted with meticulous care and boundless affection. Even before you took your first breath, I had already envisioned the extraordinary journey that lay ahead for you. A journey filled with purpose, meaning, and boundless potential. As you emerged into this world, I cradled you in the palm of my hand, guiding your steps with tender devotion and unwavering love. Every joyous moment, every tear shed in sorrow I was there, intimately acquainted with the intricacies of your heart, your soul laid bare before me. And in the fullness of time, I sent forth my beloved Son, Jesus Christ, as the ultimate expression of my love for you. Through his sacrifice, he bore the weight of your sins, your pain, your suffering, so that you might experience the boundless joy of redemption and eternal life. Never doubt your worth, my precious child, for you are the crown jewel of my creation, a radiant beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. Dismiss the voices of doubt and despair, but seek to diminish your spirit, for they are but whispers in the wind compared to the resounding chorus of my love for you. Know this, my child, I am with you always, a steadfast presence in the midst of life's trials and tribulations. In moments of solitude and despair, when the world seems to conspire against you, I am there holding you close, guiding you along the path of righteousness and truth. There is nothing in this world that can separate you from my love, my child. Not your past mistakes, nor your present struggles, nor the uncertainties that loom on the horizon. My love for you is unyielding, unwavering, eternal and unbreakable bond that transcends time and space. So, my beloved child, take heart and hold fast to the truth of my love for you. Let it be the anchor that steadies your soul in the midst of life's storms, the beacon that guides you through the darkness, and the wellspring of hope that sustains you on your journey toward eternity. For in my love, you will find strength, courage, and unfathomable grace to overcome every obstacle and emerge victorious now and forevermore. My beloved child, come close and let the warmth of my love envelop you like a soft, comforting embrace. Feel the gentle whisper of my presence, soothing your soul, easing the burdens that weigh heavy on your heart. In the vast expanse of the universe, amidst the chaos and clamor of life, Know that you are cherished beyond measure, treasured beyond compare. From the very dawn of creation, I envisioned you, dreamed of you, crafted you with tender care and unwavering affection. Each fiber of your being, every intricate detail, reflects the beauty of my handiwork, the depth of my love. Before you even took your first breath, I set in motion a divine plan for your life, a plan brimming with purpose, overflowing with promise. As you navigate the twists and turns of your journey, remember that I am with you, ever present, ever faithful. In moments of triumph, I rejoice with you, my heart swelling with pride. In moments of despair, I hold you close, my arms a sanctuary of solace and strength. Through every joy and every trial, I walk beside you, my love a steadfast anchor in the ebb and flow of life's tides. In the midst of life's storms, when the winds howl and the waves crash against your fragile vessel, take refuge in the shelter of my embrace. For I am the calm in the chaos, the peace that surpasses all understanding. Trust in me, dear child, and I will guide you through the darkest valleys, leading you to green pastures and still waters. Know that my love for you knows no bounds, transcending time and space, reaching beyond the farthest reaches of the cosmos. It is a love that endures through every trial, every tribulation, a love that remains steadfast and true. So fear not, my child, 
for you are never alone. I am with you always, a beacon of hope in a world shrouded in darkness. Today, as you stand on the threshold of a new day, know that I am here, ready to shower you with blessings beyond measure. Open your heart to receive my abundant grace, my boundless mercy. For you are my beloved child, my precious creation, and my greatest joy. And in my love, you will find the strength to rise, the courage to soar, and the grace to journey ever onward. Imagine a dedicated shepherd leading his flock through a wide open field. The land has a varied terrain, featuring gentle hills and stony trails, yet among these, there are areas of lush greenery and peaceful waters. Despite the varied terrain, the shepherd's constant presence ensures safety, offers guidance, and provides comfort to the sheep. With skill and patience, he navigates them through every hurdle, tirelessly leading them to places where they can rest and eat. This clear picture of the shepherd's faithful guidance wonderfully shows how God takes us to peaceful waters. Today, I will share how God, our divine shepherd, guides us through the meadows of life, offering his protection, provision, and peace. I'm also going to pray a powerful prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. As Psalm 23 verse 2 beautifully puts it, he makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. This verse sets the tone for our journey together, delving into the depths of this scripture to uncover the profound ways in which God gently guides us through life's challenges, leading us to places of rest, renewal, and profound peace. Now, let's explore the shepherd's guidance. Like a shepherd who watches over his flock with vigilant care, God watches over us. He knows each of us intimately understands our every need, and guards us against the perils of life. In John 10 verse 14, Jesus declares, I am the good shepherd, and I know my sheep, and am known by my own. This deep and personal knowledge ensures that his guidance is perfectly suited to our individual paths. Our life's journey often takes us through valleys of hardship and shadow, as well as over the high plains of joy and ease. But in every circumstance, the shepherd's presence is a constant comfort. He doesn't lead us into the valley to abandon us, but to walk beside us, guiding us through to brighter days. Psalm 23 verse 4 reassures us, Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Even in the midst of weariness and challenges, the shepherd knows when to lead us to quiet waters and green pastures for rest and restoration. God, too, understands our limitations. He sees our weariness and leads us to places where our souls can be refreshed and our strength renewed. In Matthew 11 verses 28 to 29, Jesus extends an invitation, saying, Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Just like the shepherd provides for his flock, ensuring they are fed, protected, and rested, our Heavenly Father provides for us, offering both physical sustenance and spiritual nourishment, guidance in times of uncertainty, and comfort in times of distress. In His presence, we find the ultimate sanctuary, a place where our hearts can be at peace and our spirits can soar on wings like eagles. This profound tranquility represented by the still waters goes beyond physical rest. It symbolizes deep, soulful peace. In these divine moments of stillness, life's turmoil fades away, and we find ourselves surrounded in God's serene presence. The still waters become a sacred oasis where worldly noise is silenced, and God's voice becomes clear and soothing. Philippians 4 verse 7 promises, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds to Christ Jesus. This peace is like a protective shield around us, keeping us safe in the midst of life's storms. Additionally, the still waters offer us a reflective surface, allowing us to see the truth of our inner selves more clearly. In this serene environment, we can introspect, 
aligning our hearts with God's will and committing ourselves anew to His path. Lamentations 3 verses 40 to 41 urges us to examine our ways and turn back to the Lord, reminding us of the importance of self-reflection and spiritual realignment. At the still waters, the shepherd ensures that his flock is not only rested but also well-nourished, just as God doesn't lead us there merely for physical rest but for spiritual nourishment. Here, he feeds us with his word, quenching our thirst with his spirit and preparing us for the journey ahead. John 4 verse 14 tells us of the promise of Jesus, assuring us that whoever drinks of the water he provides will never thirst again. This water becomes a fountain of everlasting life within us, springing forth with renewed vigor and purpose. Immersed in this sanctified place of replenishment, we are invited to delve deep into God's wisdom and love. The still waters are more than just a haven for the weary. They are a sanctuary where the soul is reawakened and invigorated by the living waters flowing from God's throne. Here, we lay down our burdens, fears, and doubts, exchanging them for His unmatchable peace and boundless grace. As we drink deeply from this divine source, our vision clears, our purpose realigns, and our resolve strengthens. Ready to face the path ahead, we embark on the journey to the still waters, knowing that though the path may be rugged and uncertain, the shepherd walks it with us. Trusting in him, we find the strength to follow, leaning not on our own understanding, but acknowledging him in all our ways. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 becomes our guiding light teaching us to trust wholeheartedly in the Lord, who directs our paths. Just as the shepherd carries a rod for protection and a staff for guidance, God uses his word and his Holy Spirit to lead and comfort us along the way. In his care, we find security and assurance, knowing that he walks with us through every valley and wilderness, guiding us safely to the still waters of restoration. Hebrews 4 verse 12 serves as a powerful reminder that the word of God is alive and potent, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates to the core of our being, discerning the very thoughts and intentions of our hearts. His word convicts us when we stray, corrects our path, and serves as our guiding light. Additionally, His Spirit provides comfort, guidance, and counsel, ensuring we're never alone on our journey. As we embark on the path to still waters, we're accompanied by the unwavering presence of our Shepherd, even in the darkest valleys or during the toughest climbs, His comforting assurance never wanes. Psalm 139 verses 7 to 10 reinforces this truth, highlighting that there's nowhere we can go where His Spirit isn't with us, guiding and upholding us in every circumstance. This unbreakable companionship fills us with a profound sense of security and belonging, empowering us to face life's challenges with courage and grace. Each step of our journey is illuminated by His promises, and His strength becomes our own, enabling us to overcome any obstacle we encounter. Now, let's delve into the rejuvenating waters of renewal. These waters aren't merely to be observed but experienced firsthand. God invites us to immerse ourselves fully in His presence, to drink deeply from the wellspring of His Spirit. In these living waters, we discover true life and find the strength needed for today's challenges, along with hope for tomorrow's uncertainties. Isaiah 55 verses 1 to 2 emphasizes the abundance available to us in God's presence, far surpassing anything the world can offer. This spiritual feast satisfies the deepest longings of our souls, renewing our minds and cleansing us from within. Romans 12 verse 2 encourages us to resist conforming to the patterns of this world, but instead to be transformed by the renewing of our minds, aligning our thoughts and actions with God's perfect will. As we partake of the still waters, our perspective shifts, and our lives bear fruit in abundance. Rooted in Him, we flourish, manifesting the fruits of the Spirit in our words and deeds, blessing those around us with His love, joy, and peace. Psalm 1 verses 2 to 3 speaks of finding joy in God's teachings and promises that those who do will flourish like trees planted by streams of water, bearing fruit in due season and prospering in all they do. In our growth, we become beacons of God's love, shining brightly in a world often clouded by darkness. As we deepen our understanding of His Word and remain rooted in His presence, let's also extend His love and hope to those around us who are thirsty for spiritual nourishment. By doing so, we not only affirm our own faith, but also contribute to spreading seeds of faith that will bloom into abundant spiritual gardens for generations to come. 
Throughout life's journey, filled with ups and downs, we find purpose and serenity under God's watchful care. Our shepherd doesn't just lead us, he walks beside us, offering protection and support when needed. It's about cherishing each step, each moment of guidance, and each instance of his comforting presence. The still waters symbolize the peace and restoration God offers, inviting us to pause, reflect, and be rejuvenated in his presence. Here, we lay down our burdens, drink deeply from the fountain of life, and emerge refreshed. In these moments, we're reminded of God's unwavering promises and boundless peace, anchoring our hearts and minds. Our journey and experiences at the still waters testify to the spiritual nourishment God desires for us. He feeds us with His Word, fostering growth and resilience. As we abide in Him, our lives bear the fruits of His Spirit, enriching those around us. Moving forward, let's hold on to faith in God's promises, knowing that He leads, sustains, and protects us through every season. Let's find rest and comfort in His presence, knowing that He gently guides us closer to His peace with every step. Now, let's join together in prayer. Heavenly Father, we come before you with hearts full of gratitude. You are our provider, healer, and source of peace. We thank you for your blessings, for guiding us, and for leading us beside still waters where our souls find rest. Amen. Lord, I humbly come before you, acknowledging my faults and seeking your forgiveness. I know I've fallen short of your glory. Please purify my heart, renew my spirit, and guide me on the path of righteousness. Help me release any bitterness or resentment towards those who have wronged me, understanding that true freedom comes through forgiveness. Protect me from evil and help me resist temptation as I journey through life's highs and lows. May your word illuminate my path and guide my steps. When I feel weary and hopeless, restore my soul and lead me to the calming waters of your presence. In the powerful name of Jesus, I declare victory over every challenge I face. I reject feelings of confusion, fear, and discouragement, and I invite your peace, wisdom, and clarity into my life. Please extend your healing touch to me and my loved ones, shielding us from harm and covering us with your protection. Bless our daily activities, our work, and our times of rest. Let your favor shine upon us. As I pray alongside everyone listening, I'm thankful for every open heart before you. We stand together in faith, seeking your guidance and your will. Bless us with the assurance of your presence, leading us to places of tranquility and nourishment. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, empowering us to share your love with others. We claim victory in every aspect of our lives, praying for healing, provision, and comfort for those in need. Guard us against the schemes of the enemy, ensuring that no harm comes to us. May your presence go with us, surrounding us with peace and filling us with joy. All glory belongs to you, now and forever. Thank you for hearing and answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen.